Hi Knights, Kwasu here and welcome to another episode of the Should You Pull series. Today we will be discussing whether you should pull for Luna. As always, we will be doing an in-depth review of her kit, rating her in the various game modes, recommending whether to pull, and detailing how to build her upon her release. If you want to get some advice on whether to pull for Princess Connect banners, then subscribe! I post for every single new character banner, so be sure to click that subscribe button and notification bell. Luna is a magic attacker slash support. Positioned in the backline, she introduces a unique stacking mechanic by generating friend stacks by dealing damage or from her skills. This mechanic allows her to deal massive damage with her Union Burst. On top of this, she also acts as a TP battery, adding to the TP bar of the character with the highest percentage HP by damaging them slightly. This means that her TP boosts are extremely strong, as not only does she boost TP, she also deals damage to allied characters, which adds even more TP. Overall, she is incredibly strong on release and is a mainstay for years to come, as most TP batteries tend to be in precon. Luna is a permanent character, which means after her release banner she will be added to the gacha pool and will be available on all following banners. This is something to keep in mind if you are budgeting for other units down the line, such as New York Carol, as you could potentially pull her on your future pulls. Notes: Skill names are translated from the Japanese version of the game. It is possible that the names for her skills may be different upon her release in the English version of the game. Credit goes to Crazy Omega for helping me to research out her skills and her strength on release. He posts pre-com PvP videos, and I will link his channel in the description below if you want to check him out. Note: All instances of Luna dealing damage, including friendly fire via skill 1 and normal attacks, will generate a friend stack. Luna's Union Burst is Phantom Howl. This deals 12.5 times skill level plus 1 plus magical attack times 1 plus number of friends times 1.2 magical damage to the nearest enemy. Note that the number of friends used in this calculation cannot exceed 5. This also consumes the stacks used in the attack. Luna skill 1 is Soul Conversion. This deals magical attack, magical damage to the ally with the highest current percentage HP, and this damage can crit. This restores the target's TP by 150 plus 2.5 times skill level. This also adds one friend stack, and when all HP is equal in percentage, this will target the ally in the fourth position from the front. Luna skill 2 is Undying Resentment. If you have one or less friend stacks, deal 20 times skill level plus 1 plus magical attack times 1.6 magical damage to the nearest enemy. If you have more than one friend stack, deals 40 times skill level plus 1 plus magic attack times 3.2 magical damage to the nearest enemy and remove two friend stacks. Finally, Luna's EX skill is Will You Be My Friend? If the unit is not 5 stars, raise their magical attack by 15 times 1 plus skill level. If the unit is 5 stars, raise their magical attack by 15 times 16 plus skill level. For her loot pattern, her initial pattern is skill 1, auto attack, skill 1, skill 2, and her loop pattern is skill 1, auto, auto, skill 2, auto. Luna's initial pattern means that she will quickly charge TP two times. After that, her loop pattern means her TP charge will be much more spread out over time. This also means she will usually have plenty of enough friend stacks for her skill 2 to be empowered and deal more damage. So, to summarize Luna, all instances of Luna dealing damage including friendly fire via skill 1 and normal attacks, will generate a friend stack. Her Union Burst and skill 2 behave differently depending on how many souls she has. Her Union Burst scales with the number of souls, up to 5, and her skill 2 does more damage if Luna possesses at least 2 souls. She has the strongest single target TP battery capabilities in the game on her skill 1, not only boosting TP for a single ally, but also adding even more TP on top of that by damaging said ally. Her skill 1 damage applies first before the TB boost, meaning that you could potentially get 2 Union Bursts off from her skill if you spam properly. Her first Union Burst comes from, from gaining TP from the damage component of the skill 1, and the second Union Burst comes from the boosting TP component of the skill 1. She also does a lot of single target magic damage to the foremost enemy, and overall, she is the first TP battery that is suitable for magic teams, and since she does a lot of damage in her own right, that makes her extremely strong and useful. For main quests, Luna is okay. Passing stages usually doesn't require TB boosting, and hurting your own allies can be detrimental when some of your characters are barely surviving. Quite frankly, single target mages such as Kyoka or Sonora Carol do the job just fine. Therefore, I rate her a 6 out of 10 for main quest. For Tower of Luna, Luna is again okay, even though she is named after the game mode. Just kidding, she is from Shadowverse, the CCG game by Psygames. 
your units will enter the battle with TP already, and again, survivability is more important in this game mode than spamming Union Burst. However, having more units in Tower of Luna is only to your advantage, so having her as an extra possible unit doesn't hurt. Therefore, I rate her a 7 out of 10 for Tower of Luna. For Clan Battle, Luna will be mandatory for most clans. This is because of loops, where TP is extremely important in being able to continue them. Loops are the concept of consistently activating the boss's Union Burst, so you take damage, gain TP from that damage, and do enough damage with your Union Burst to activate the boss's Union Burst again. Even outside of loops, as Luna is a strong single target mage in her own right, she is still extremely good and used often. Eventually, she may fall out of favor in clan battle, but will return when her Yui is released. Therefore, I rate her a 9 out of 10 for clan battle. For Arena, Luna is also extremely strong. TV batteries are always super useful in Arena as we approach the one-shot meta, where your goal is to activate your team's Union Burst as fast as possible to destroy the enemy team. Doing this on top of having good damage means that she is far superior for magic teams as a TV battery compared to her counterpart Yuki, who lowers physical defense and does less damage. In combination with 6-star Carol, they can nuke entire teams in an instant, and potentially freeze up your other TV batteries such as Summer Saren, Saren, Yukari, and Yuki to be used in other team compositions in Princess Arena. She also sees consistent use right up until the present in the Japanese version of the game, which is 3 years ahead. Therefore, I rate her a 10 out of 10 in Arena. So, should you pull? Luna is permanent, but is extremely strong and meta-defining on release for clan battle and arena, so it's a really difficult decision. I would say that if you are a competitive player, uh, top 100 in CB and arena, I recommend that you should pull. If you are a casual player and you have less than 45,000 jewels, I would recommend skipping this banner. If you are weighing between pulling Luna or New Year Carol, I would pick New Year Carol in a heartbeat. She is just so unbelievably powerful in her own right, that if you have to choose between her and other characters, you should always choose New Year Carol. Luna is best used at 3 stars. While she isn't reliant on her Union Burst, due to her nature as a unit that is used in looping in Clan Bell, she wants to be able to activate her Union Burst as often as possible in that scenario, and therefore 3 stars makes sense. Otherwise in Arena, you could see her at 5 stars for more survivability. Luna is extremely finicky for clan battle. As she wants to be used in a looping setting, it is best to leave her completely alone and do not add any equipment to her until the next clan battle. For Arena, on the other hand, her skill 1 can crit when she damages her ally to give them TP, so you may want to have her at lower ranks to ensure that she does not kill your allies on accident. A good starting rank is rank 2, as since her skill 2 is not unlocked, this means she will only spam her skill 1 and auto attacks. 7 1 is the next best rank up, and if she is too fragile, that rank 14 2 also serves as a good place to rank her up. Credit goes to Chocolate for this information, and his YouTube channel will be in the description below. In terms of her levels, her skills scale directly off her skill levels, so she should be maxed out in terms of both level and skill levels. Her bond stories give her an extra 310 magical attack and 10 magical crit, so you should 100% read her bond stories. Thanks for watching! Please like if this video helped you out, and subscribe for more guides and in depth analysis videos on Princess Connect Redive. Comment below if you have any thoughts concerning Luna, and let me know when you've managed to pull her from the gacha. Also, my community Discord is up and running, so feel free to join us at Kwangsu Gamers. See you guys next time in two weeks, where the first girl from the guild Dragon's Nest makes her appearance. Secret video section time, drop a spooky in the comments below if you reach this part of the video.